If your breastfed baby has been diagnosed or you suspect that they have an allergy through your breast milk, this will be really important information to at least be thinking about. I've seen so many moms who have had their babies misdiagnosed as having an allergy and that's really not what's going on. So listen up mommy and consider this. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> I've worked with hundreds of breastfeeding mommies and they come to me when they're having challenges, problems, and I help them to work it out. And there's so many things that are misdiagnosed or misunderstood or told on the internet that aren't correct and I just want to be sure you have the correct information. One of those is babies having an allergy, like a dairy allergy, through mom's milk. And it could be dairy, soy, eggs, peanuts, gluten, there's lots of things, and baby can be allergic to things, and it can be very serious. So if your baby has an allergy, you need to take it very seriously. I'm not a doctor, I'm a lactation counselor, and I never want you to go against what your doctor says, but this information I'm telling you, if you believe that this applies to you and your baby, go to your doctor and say, hey, this lactation counselor online told me this information, are you all right with me following this and seeing if this will help? So the basic of it is that moms have something called a forceful letdown and oversupply. If you have one, you have the other. I have a video series on it, so I'm not gonna completely go through it, but if you think that you have it, it's important to do the things to adjust it. Now, a lot of moms say, oh, that's not me. I don't have an oversupply. I can't pump this large amount. Well, some moms don't respond well to a pump. Um, some moms don't realize what an oversupply is. If you are fully feeding your baby from the breast and your baby is six or eight weeks old, it's normal for you to only see drops if you are occasionally pumping. So if you are pumping in between feedings and your baby's older than that six, six or eight weeks old and you're still pumping, three to five ounces in between feedings, you probably have an oversupply and forceful letdown goes with it. So I have a video on how to determine if you have the condition so you can watch that specifically, but just going to give you a little bit of it here. So if your baby is getting your milk and you have this large supply and it's going into baby forcefully, that can cause some problems in baby's tummy, a GI tract problem. It's just going in so forcefully. Even if you are pumping and baby gets your breast milk in a bottle and they're not getting it so forcefully, there's still some issues with your milk. And it's not that anything's necessarily wrong with your milk, but when you make this large amount of milk, it has more for milk. And for milk has more lactose. Breast milk has lactose in it and your baby does not have a lactose intolerance or sensitivity, it's just that that large of an amount of lactose is going to upset anyone's tummy. If you were to drink a whole gallon of milk or a really big bowl of ice cream, you might feel bloated and gassy and uncomfortable. You know, most people do if they eat a huge amount of lactose. So it's the same with your baby. If you're making a huge amount of milk, Baby has trouble getting down to the fattier hind milk that has less lactose in it. So baby's getting this huge amount. So it's important to not try to figure this out on your own. Please watch those videos if you think that that might be you. And I wanna tell you how that looks like an allergy, even from your doctor's perspective. So if you have this condition, forceful letdown and oversupply, that it will look so much like an allergy baby will have traces of blood in their stool. So your, your doctor will take baby's diaper and test it. You may not see the blood, sometimes you can, but usually you can't. And the doctor will do a test on the poopy diaper and will find traces of blood and say, yes, baby has an allergy and through something that you're eating. Well, if you have a forceful letdown oversupply, baby will also have traces of blood usually in their, in their stool most often. And 
baby will often have green, goopy, gel-like diapers if there's an allergy. Baby will also have that if you have a forceful letdown and oversupply. Not always, but that's a common thing to see. Baby will spit up a lot. Baby um, will be very fussy, very uncomfortable, extra gassy, um, have trouble sleeping. Their belly may be almost hard because they have so much gas in there. So there's so much that looks just like a food allergy. And doctors don't understand about forceful letdown and oversupply, and so they it gets misdiagnosed. Also, when you have this condition, um, it also gives baby what they call reflux, and so does a food allergy. And reflux isn't actually a condition. Reflux is a symptom. So um, it, it's just saying that's what you have reflux. It makes you know tummy hurt and spitting up, and this is reflux. Uh, but they're not telling you what caused that. So reflux could be from your condition or from an allergy, just like diarrhea is a is a symptom of maybe you had a stomach bug or, or you had food poisoning, so it's a, a symptom. So reflux is a symptom of something else, and sometimes we never know why baby has reflux. But it's just good to look into it if this is a possibility that you may have a forceful letdown and oversupply. It truly isn't very common for a baby to have an allergy or even a reaction to things that mom eats. Breast milk is made by white blood cells. Breast milk is a blood product. It's not what mom ate through her GI tract. It's a blood product. And so if something goes into mom's bloodstream and not even all things that you think will go in can, but some things go in and can cause a problem, but not very much. When a doctor diagnoses a baby as having an allergy, they go through a process of elimination. So they look at the, the stool and they look at how baby's behaving with a reflux and tummy issues and all of that. And they're doing a process of elimination. And then they'll often tell mom, you know, why don't you start a diet of eliminating some foods in your diet? So mom may remove milk, eggs, um, gluten, peanuts, um, and soy. Those are big ones that baby could be allergic to. Um, not likely through your breast milk, but it can happen. So you do need to consider that it's a possibility. If you are going to eliminate these foods from your diet, it takes about three weeks for them to be completely out of your system. So know that it's going to take some time. The thing with doing an elimination diet is that it is such a big toll on your mental health. Any kind of diet is hard to do if it's not your usual, what you prefer in foods, what you're used to. So this could be a big change for a lot of moms and your baby is worth it. And if that's something you want to do, go for it. It's not going to um, affect the quality or any of the nutrients in your, in your breast milk if you cut out these foods. It's just the mental health and the work of it that I see be more of a problem. But your baby's worth it if that really is the problem. When mom has this condition, forceful letdown and oversupply, that's causing the problem, she needs to get that under control. Now, when I said that it, you'll have more fore milk, don't think, well, I'll pump some of that off and then baby will get more hind milk. That's just going to make it worse. If you're doing some extra pumping, you're just going to make more milk and more fore milk. So you really need to watch the video and learn how to get that under control. If it's too stressful and you want to pump for a while and try formula for your baby, even if you go with a cow's milk based formula, you'll probably see an improvement in baby's digestive issues and reflux and all of that, probably. And then you'll know it really wasn't a dairy or a milk sensitivity. Um, but it's worth a try to eliminate some foods if you're open for that. It's just that it's a lot of stress on most moms. Now, if you think this might be the situation and the cause of what's going on with baby, just know that it does get better, but it's a struggle to get it under control. Your milk supply will regulate and go down a bit as time goes on for all moms. Uh, and for moms with this condition, 
they see a lot of improvement when their milk supply gets regulated more. But there's some steps you need to take to get it under control sooner if possible. If your baby is on a dairy-based formula and you're still seeing these problems, you can switch to something different. Let your doctor diagnose a different formula because sometimes it's not just going with a dairy-free because then you might go to a soy base and that could still have a problem. So there's some specific formulas that you may need to put baby on at least until you get everything under control. For babies that do have a milk allergy, they usually outgrow it by about three years old. Now this adorable little guy happens to be my grandson, and he does have a dairy and soy allergy, and we're keeping a close eye on it. Now he was totally breastfed, still is, and we started adding solids at around 10 months. And that's when we started to see these reactions. Now some of it is probably topical so if he gets milk on his face or soy on his face then those will break out in little welts um, but also if he consumes them he gets this reaction too but we didn't see any of this reaction before he started using solids and mom eats plenty of dairy soy and nuts now if you have this condition you will have it with every baby so keep that in mind for future babies but if you have older babies then look back at them. Did they have similar issues? If so, it's probably a forceful letdown and oversupply and not an allergy through your breast milk. In the description, I'm going to link the other three videos I have on forceful letdown and oversupply. The first one just helps you to determine if that's what's going on for you. And the next one fully explains it. And there's a third one with just some extra information if you want to check that one out. But I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have and help you along the way. Thanks a lot, Mommy. You got this.